Are you eligible for Instagram monetization? For IGTV monetization. Well, probably you don't know, because here's the thing, I don't know either. But in this video, using some scientific methods, we're going to take a look at the information that's available to us right now. We're going to talk about who's going to be eligible, um, you know, the requirements, some other ba best practices and stuff like this coming up. So roll this baby. Roll this baby. Wow! Welcome back, my friends and dominators. Uh, my name's Dominic. Let's talk about this whole new uh, monetization thing because I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of DMs. My, my email even is full of people saying, uh, can you tell me, am I, how, how am I going to be eligible? How are the things going to be? And I can tell you for sure, I, I actually don't know because nobody knows. But, you know, we all know Instagram belongs to Facebook. And obviously, Facebook has had some... Uh, form of monetization going on even this kind of uh, this kind of in stream ad monetization that they're uh, you know launching on instagram so using that and some uh, terms of service that we're going to deconstruct we're going to talk about probably right around how the eligibility requirements are going to look like what this means for you because also some forms of content are not going to be allowed i can tell you that and uh, if you've used the bot you know just to spoil this video a little bit hard hard for you to get monetized but first of all let's hop into my computer let's hop onto the facebook for business learn page apparently because we're here to learn you know if you're here to learn uh hit hit the whatever button subscribe or something it's going to look pretty similar i can guarantee you that um maybe even the same uh but uh, disclaimer you know i don't know for sure here's the thing the rules for monetization on facebook on the facebook platform are as follows first of all adhere to the F facebook community standards obviously uh, in our case that that would would be the community guidelines of instagram you know follow the law foster meaningful and genuine uh, interactions not artificially collecting likes followers shares you know just stuff like that basically this is the engagement group thing that you knows still nobody wants to wants to believe me that that these things are not good um but um yeah these are the one thing then they have the partner monetization policies going on which also i have found on the, the instagram platform which is called instagram partner monetization policies we're going to talk about all these we're going to go through all of these different uh, uh pages in a minute third of all it's about the content monetization policies meaning the content pieces per se meaning each individual piece of content uh, and uh, yeah if if that can be monetized or not we also have found that right here on the on the instagram platform but basically facebook has has some eligibility requirements that we can kind of take a look at and then we can kind of guesstimate that things are going to look pretty pretty similar so first of all facebook pages blah 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 uh, if you're 18 years of age probably it's going to be the same on instagram so you must publish videos from a page and a profile in this case it's probably going to look like you have to publish videos within the igtv platform you know because this is what it's about and then obviously the partner monetization policies and they also kind of like you YouTube have uh, some sort of cap. They say you have to have 30,000 plus one minute views. You know, and this is a this is a very interesting thing. Uh, they, they say this metric helps determine how successfully you'll be able to monetize with in-stream ads in the last 60 days. You need to have had at least 30,000 one minute views on videos that are at least three minutes long. And there you go. I'm pretty sure the requirements on IGTV are going to be pretty similar to that. But we know that they track uh, watch time on IGTV. You can see that in your graph. And before a lot of people are going to jump on that and say, uh, how the hell are we able to monetize it? They, they don't even give us a chance if we have below 30,000 uh, one minute views, for example. But um, you know, just to be honest with you, if you have below 30,000 one minute views a month, you're probably only going to get like five dollars or something like this so you know th there is something behind that then they also and this is interesting they also have a requirement of uh, pages to have at least ten thousand followers in our case probably the instagram profile has to has some sort of limit ten thousand followers probably because this is kind of like the stepping stone for a lot of a lot of features on uh, instagram as well for example the swipe up link or yeah that's about it, I think. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it might be 5,000 because, you know, it's kind of inflating. But uh, yeah, probably it's going to be uh, around the 10,000 follower mark. Then you have to be in an available country. Duh. And you have to publish three minute videos. Now, like I said, we can't be sure that these are going to be the exact same requirements on IGTV, but uh, they're going to look pretty similar. Let's let's take a look at the partner 
uh, guidelines, community guidelines, content monetization, whatever. There you go. I did some digging, figured that, that out. And they say in order for creators and publishers to use monetization or uh, promotional tools on Instagram, uh, also the shopping thing that we have actually never talked about here on the channel. Uh, they must comply with a set of rules called Instagram partner monetization policies. These rules apply to accounts, behaviors, and payments, blah, blah, blah. And uh, basically what they said, first of all, in order to become a Instagram partner, you have to comply with their community guidelines. Um, we said it already here. Uh, post uh, appropriate photos, you know, don't artificially collect likes, you know, no fake stuff, follow the law, respect people in the community. Obviously, that should not even have to be said, but obviously it has to be, but it's the internet, you know, we understand that kind of. And then you're going to have to comply with uh, with their content monetization policies. And uh, they say monetized content has to pass an additional level of kind of standards and uh, that's kind of, that's higher than their community guidelines and uh, these rules are call, rules of card and these rules are called uh, and these rules are called uh, what's going on <laughs> and these rules are called instagram content monetization policies which i have figured out right here and for example they have some prohibited formats we briefly touched on it on the last video static image polls looping videos slideshows are all pieces of content that are not allowed embedded ads content that already includes embedded ads where instagram offers ad placements i have no idea what exactly they mean because it's it could be a, a different kinds of thing but also they also say some behavior is prohibited on content that uh, you, you want to monetize for example engagement bait you know, uh, basically content that incentivizes people to click a link or respond to a post through likes or comments. So, for example, you have an IGTV video and you say, um, yeah, hey, don't forget to like, you know, comment down below what you think. This could be even deemed as not being able to monetize your videos, this kind of thing. Even though I think they kind of mean it as really baity behavior and just a, a standard call to action might not fall into this category but uh just through this wishy-washy thing that we're kind of used to them this wishy-washy description that we're kind of used uh, from them who knows uh, also a uh, soliciting engagement content that requests compensation in, in exchange for extreme behavior what could that mean it uh, probably likes engagement or money uh, consumption of inedible substance <laughs> yeah showing graphic content stuff like this alcohol consumption of drugs tobacco or alcohol can you believe that? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense, especially uh, if you have younger viewers. Um, but uh, yeah, our Twitch would have been exempt from, from that thing. Yeah, if you don't know, uh, I stream live on Twitch every other day. <laughs> yeah, we just hang out together and we talk about some some interesting stuff behind the scenes. Anyway, um, also, obviously, they have some restricted categories going on, uh, social issues, you know, all the, these things right here. It's not per se forbidden. It's just uh, if it it's discusses the following subjects in a polarizing or inflammatory manner. I kind of understand that even though I'm kind of, I love to be polarizing. I, and I think if you build something up, if, if you want to build your influence, you're going to have to be polarizing in certain aspects, not in these aspects, okay, my friends? Um, yeah, also tragedy, conflict, obviously. Um, no threats. Don't talk about trafficking, uh, stuff like that. Sexual, you know, this is where the OnlyFans is here for. Strong language, you know, profanity and stuff like that. Crude gestures and stuff like this. It's not allowed. See, not allowed anymore to monetize this if I just uh, say, hey, uh, hey. Also, don't show extreme body modification, which is kind of interesting. Why not? Bodily functions decay. Yeah, just some yeah misinformation, misleading medical stuff, obviously referring to what's happening right now. And um, yeah, politics. If you're a politician, you're not allowed to monetize your content. Now, you know, these are things on that level, but it goes even deeper, my friends. And this is where it gets interesting, again, for all of you non-believers who never believe me when I tell stuff about you know just be a good kid play with the rules they're going to give you some good engagement for that the algorithm is going to start to like you you still don't believe me even though even though now they even say it, you can only monetize authentic engagement only monetize content consumed by their natural natural authentic audience 
And just this phrase in and itself is a very interesting phrase, if you ask me, because, and this is what I've always said, and this is what we talk about really in-depth in the Instagram Black File, my flagship program, by the way. They measure the authenticity and the depth that you have with your audience going on. You know, and we can see right here, and probably the higher your depth that you have with your audience, the bigger the CPM is going to be, or something like this. Creators and publishers may not engage in any behavior that artificially boosts views or engagement. You know, this includes manufactured sharing, which might even, you know, obviously DM groups, but also these uh, sharing, weird sharing pods. And here's the thing. Here, we're again at the, the partner policies. We're not at the content level anymore. We're at the partner level. If you engage in inauthentic behavior, in any behavior that artificially boosts views or engagement, you know, they can kick you out of the monetization program. They're probably not even going to let you in in the first place. You know, if you want to monetize on Instagram now, this is re this is the real stuff starts to happen. Not, not none of this fake world and stuff like this anymore. You know, building real followers, building a real presence online. And um, they say uh, creators and publishers may lose the ability to monetize their if their audience significantly consists of fake engagement, including but not limited but not limited to likes, follows, and views. There you go. You have it. You have it right there. They track that. They have been tracking this. They probably have been tracking this in the past year since when they were starting to play with this idea just to kind of have some systems in there to kind of see when this eligibility process starts that they can weed out the people who are like, okay, in the past year, they've uh, engaged in, in these kinds of behaviors. And, and this kind of ties all, this all makes so much sense if you take a look at the big picture and also the recent developments around Instagram in the past two years, more or less, even you have to develop an established presence. And this is so interesting. Creators and publishers must have an authentic established presence on Instagram. This also includes maintaining a sufficient follower base, you know, and this is what I've been saying all along, you know, one follower does not equal a follower, a like does not equal a like, it's about depth, it's about quality of interactions, you guys have not believed me, a lot of you guys have not believed me, by the way, if now you think, wow, it makes a lot of sense, I want to really start building my Instagram from the ground up with real methods to you know, ma maintain a real established presence. I uh, have a free training down in the description. Click the first link down in the description. It's a free training. Uh, sign up for that. Go through that. We're, we'll talk about exactly that. And I've been talking about that all along, exactly about that. And also in my black file and in my startup accelerator program. And here's the thing, just on a side note, these things, you know, th these things are here. These rules are here for a reason. Okay, you can only monetize that if you have a established presence, if you have authentic engagement, right? Then they give you the chance to monetize, you know, this, this part of your audience. But like I said, if you've done this from the beginning, if you've developed an established presence and stuff like that, you have had the chance and the, the ability to monetize your Instagram in way many other ways, you know, starting from products services goods whatever it is and um, yeah basically it's just them showing you well here's the thing start treating this whole thing seriously this creating on instagram seriously and then it's gonna gonna be possible for you to make this extra income stream that you know nobody knows exactly how much it's gonna be how how much you're gonna get the creators are gonna get but i i, I can promise you a lot of people are watching this right now if they really you know take them by their whatever and uh you know, put in the effort and the work and create meaningful content and build an audience you can be in a very different spot just from this side of uh this source of income stream in two months three months from now so that was that still interesting obviously i'm gonna tell you exactly when we know more and uh, yeah my name is dominic this is the source of information that uh, you should be tuning into i'm gonna see you on twitch probably right now or tomorrow or the day after and we're gonna see each other uh on our instagram live streams in a couple of days yeah right my friends it's a love i'm an actor book me book me for your next feature film i can do a lot of acting i can do a lot of emotions